Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Jack 2. And in this episode, I will be using the Titan suit uh, f for one last Vin mission over in uh, the weapons area where I used that turret to gun down all of the battleships. Uh, and then once that is done, I'll be heading over to the bazaar uh, to meet with Onin in order to make one last trip to Haven Forest in order to give Sa the young Samos his sage powers. So without further ado, let's get into it. So you can break those. Alright, turn around. Shit. Duck down. Get me bearings. And let's go. So that's going to be one of the races. Because I think the four races are the last side quests to come about. Ouch. That hurt. And that hurt a lot. If I end up not having full health at the start of the mission, when I go through the teleporter, I might just jump off into a bottomless pit just to reset. Because I don't remember if the reason why I... <coughs> because, I mean, I know I failed a few times the mission last year. And if it's down to the Titan suit health, or Jack's health, so... I'll go in with full health just to play it safe. is Core tells me we've got enough power online to keep the shield walls up. So for now, the city's safe. But I don't know how long the system can hold. And the bad news? We've detected a cluster of metalhead eggs growing up at the strip mine site. Now you've got to go back there and find a way to destroy those eggs before they turn into a whole new army of creatures. I noticed the crane was lifting a large metal container. If we could jump onto the container, we could drop the crate from above. I jump, drop. Why don't I like the sound of that? Come on, Dax, let's go. Nothing so far. Ah, so it's the last strip mine one first. Maybe I shouldn't have met, put the Titan suit in the uh, description. But anyway. <laughs> right then. Here we go. So where do I need to go? I guess we'll see. Yum. Yum. down there. I don't know I've missed that one. I can get it at some point. But anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll destroy eggs in strip mine. I don't know how they want me to do this. It's clearly not around here, so... Get the uh, cursor orb. Now let's have a look. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. 
eat. Right then, let's have a look elsewhere. Of course, I do have to find stuff, so you know. Ouch. So, what happens if I go this way around? Shit. Ah, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is out now. So, they want me to go across here. Because that wasn't out before. Because I thought I had to go that long way around, it turned out. Not really. Should have gone to the right side, but never mind. Yeet, 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 yeet. Eat. Eat. Right to go. Jump around, jump, 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 jump around, jump, jump. jump. Oh. Ouch. Let's go this way, in case there's an orb. across much quicker and much easier that's the big scary jump in this whole section that you don't want to mess up oh. of course this is way longer than two minutes so it's a good thing I didn't shit do what I was originally going to do I mean, how much is left please don't tell me there's too much left land on. Looks like it. Oh, I'm too scared to mess it up and then have to come all the way back. Ah, oh, good. Automatically down here. type section there. Okay, that's nearly filled, that is nowhere near filled. Let's see if I head back in. No, the power station mission isn't yet. Fair enough. Oh, there we go. 
Now we get it. Got the wrong way then. Like an absolute fool. Alright, here we go. Says, what took you so long? We had to skip lunch waiting for you too. Ah, okay, okay. She really says thank you for saving the live seed. But I wouldn't say that if I were her. Eve won in the seed, and she would prepare it for Samus. Mm. Back off, that away! Listen, Tiny Tail. I was leading my hundred flocks south before you had fur one between your legs. Not that your fur means anything. At least I'm not some overstuffed, over yapping, feather dusty mouthpiece for the world's oldest professional. Jack says, have a nice day. Jack says, I can't think on my own. Jack says, go bite yourself. That's it, rat boy. Now you've really pissed me off. Whoa! Knock it off, both of you. You're lucky I'm famished. Conan says, take the energized life scene to young Samos in Haven Forest. It will give Samos the power he needs to finally see the forest from the trees. Go, quickly. So, of course, this is creating a kind of uh, very strange time complex. Because, <coughs> of course, the Samos Jack has known... Yep. Hmm. Jack has known all his life. You know, always been that good old grumpy sage. But yet, the young Samos, he has to give the powers to so that they're both... Both Samos can keep their sage powers. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Nothing so far. There we go, nice. Sorted that out. Oh, damn it. Right then, let's go. I don't remember if it's going to be the Class A race after this or not. Because it is around 80%, because I think you go into the palace at 82%. Hopefully I can one-shot that mission, because, yeah. You know, you know, you know. I don't know how that works, but physics. Leaving city safe zone. Yeet. Now I think I've got all precursor orbs in the mountain temple and haven forest, so you know, because I mean, you can you can access every place in the mountain temple other than the um, hoverboard bit, and then you can access any part of haven forest from the beginning. Um, but anyway, hello, Richard. How are you? Um, I am going out later. I found out, so I might be on Uno later. But it depends, of course. Uh, but anyway. Oh shit, I've got a speed boost and everything then. Whoosh. the tree here. I mentioned about this mission but of course I didn't give the details because that was spoilers. Samos told me to, I mean you told me to, or well I mean your older version, uh whatever. We heard you needed the life seed. Yes, its power will help me speak to the planets. More than like there, yeah. anyway, ah oh, yes, so this mission, Jack, me from loads the of them. I must ask the plants vital questions about our future. So he's gonna be incommunicado with the uh, with the plants. We've got two drop ships dropping in these twats constantly. Ouch! Oh, that's not good, is it? Oh, thunder! The jumping and spinning attack really works. You give me that Vulcan cannon. I'm in. Oh, these bats don't need you this. I'm just 
banking all my ammo on the uh... oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm getting out like now. Oh, bastard. This mission can be annoying. Uh, uh, not because of the regular Crimson Guards, usually just the, um, the flying ones, because you have to try and keep an eye on them, but then there's just other douches to take care of. Give me that Vulcan ammo, though. I'll take it. I'll focus on the twat. Just do it as soon as you do a jumping attack, they'll be all over here. You have to be careful. I'll just go over here in case they come from this side. Yep, there we go. They must have been hit once. I, mean, I think this is a pretty cool concept, you know, I've said. <coughs> If you're going to include time travel, you need to do it right at all costs. Has that one gone down or has he only been stunned? Oh shit. I've noticed when I rush inputs to um, get the jumping spinning attack with the gun, that's when X gets stuck. I often don't get the attack off. Oi. Two of the traps, really. Nice. I know isn't usually a problem. Oh, peacemaker, I know, very nice. The only problem is when there are obviously loads, Jack doesn't always auto aim at the flying guards, but anyway. Oh, second go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Is planning to destroy the precursor stone, which is not a good idea. Crack it open somehow. If he does this, the energy released will be beyond comprehension. It will destroy the world and more, ending all life. The plants are crying out for protection. You must stop the Baron, Jack. Stop him, however you can. She's gonna hang around there. Yeah, that is, that is the truth. So, so the Baron wants to crack it open. Now, it's unclear whether the Baron knows what's going to happen. Um, he clearly does. He just wants power. You know, destroying the world is technically an ultimate power, but I don't see his motive behind it. <coughs> but anyway. Let's go. Nineteen minutes for two missions, not too bad. I'm just glad it didn't take the piss for me to do that mission, to be fair. Right, there we go. <coughs> Yeah, now we get the Class A race and of course it's imperative that I win now because I need to enter the palace and uh, stop the Baronus. Oh, it's not quite yet. Ah, yeah, that'll be the VIN mission that I mentioned. Um, I'll probably end up doing the palace tomorrow. I think that's when I'll be starting off. Uh, but anyway... Of course, this symbol here is, I forgot his name, but it's the Lurker with the glasses. Of course, he said he had to help out in any way he can after saving his Lurkers. Of course, that was ages ago, but now you, you actually get a, another mission for him. It's Brother Jack and 
Lurkers, little orangey pal. Thank the totem I sees you. You help Lurkers once time, you help us twos? Look, Bruder, we've got our own problems to deal with right now. But you know big to do rockers, you cause a dig? I know all caves like back of claw, and Mars tomb, nowhere there. Now better let's find hidden Lurker village in caves. They bite and hurt village. Bruder, yes. And me look up well, I forget his name. Like animals. Uh, hello, they are animals. We're no longer evil lurking bad to bones, orangey boy. We good now. Metalheaders are bad. They is enemies. Yeah, I guess we're all on the same boat now. And this ship is sinking fast, brother. Please, save six lurker brothers quick, and Bruno will kiss you foot. Yeah. <sighs> Fear. Hmm, got a sickly taste in my mouth. This is going to be horrible. Oh, fuck me. Right, let's get the uh, bottom ones first, shall we? Probably should have got a fresh vehicle, but never mind. Do need a two seater. So yeet. So this mission is just worse than the other one because you know this time. Oh shit. I need to get off the lugs so and jump on. Hey, hang on, where do I need to go? Really? I better go to the marker. Yeet. Bang. Let's go, Lurker. Into the cave with ye. Nice and close that one. I now need to do the ones that are further away. <coughs> right, well, I mean, hopefully I don't die because you know <coughs> what tends to happen a lot is you know, get down to the last one or whatever it is, and then bang, I fail the mission. Crimson Guard. It's not enough for the uh, Azure Guard, though. Not even saying Azure Guards. I, like, I think it is Azure Guards, but it might not be. I'm sure there's a closer thing this time around. Ah, there it is. Good. Shall we? Long shots. Get in, mate. Get in. Quick, 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 quick. It's not even on white smoke yet. I've actually done really well. I mean, compared to that drone mission, this is nothing. Not really. I'm glad, though, to be honest. Well, I mean, that was just a horrible set of missions yesterday. To have in a row, anyway. Um, in terms of chunks, like mission chunks, that's probably the worst mission chunk. But there are harder individual missions, but, of course, as a collection, that was pretty bad. It only takes five bullets to break those cages, anyway, so...
Oh yeah, this mission is very tame compared to that. Yeah. Slowly trickle on. No need to uh, go mental. Oh shit. The marker was displaying that I had to take the turn here, but in fact, I had to take the turn. Oh, one bit. Oh shit. happened oh I bet the lurker fell in the water I mean I can't say I'm surprised because there was only one left and it just it just keeps on happening like that was the one opportunity to actually do a mission without failing on the last part of the mission but it just it just continuously happens it's just, it can't stop happening it's like a curse every time I play Jack 2 it happened last year and it's happening again. Like, this mission is, isn't is even that bad. Let's not... Straight around here, but anyway. Oh, Lurka, get in. Oh, I mean, it, it's, it's become like its own cliche at this point. Failing missions on Jack 2 when there's only one objective left. It's just oh, it's bloody annoying. I just, I just like for it to just stop happening every once in a while. Imagine thinking you could escape, Peyton. It must have landed in the water. I mean, it's the only explanation. Because the exploding vehicles wouldn't have bothered it, because you used to have exploding vehicles. Well, when I did the first one, literally the vehicle exploded while the lurker was on it and it tanked it. Unless they've made them weaker this time around, because they don't want to give you any chances, but I don't think it was. The vehicle explosions. Because they have to wait for the vehicle to explode before they can get out of the cage anyway. So they must have landed in the water. So I have to be careful on those last two, how I approach them. But anyway. Of course this is the best route to take, is going all the way over to that other side and then coming all the way back to get the two that I get first. As well, very foolish. That perfect. If I can get it if I can two shot it though that'll that'll be fine. But I find it funny now though how lurkers aren't actually uh, the enemies anyway. Yeah. Bit too much length on that. And they get in mate. Oh shit. When the bullets can't reach him because they're too like low down when you use the scattergun pop them that way right I need I need to make sure me that um, the vehicle don't explode over the bloody water oh pulled that up too late I mean, it's, it's, they're supposed to be safe so that, that doesn't happen but you know. oh shit the lurkers can take some Beating them. Anyway, let's try this again. I'm not actually sure if I failed like that last time. I think I might have. Anyway, I just mugged off that turret. I'm like, man down. Did you want to? Now, 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 quick. I think the I think an extra explosion kind of knocked it further into the water. That's what would have happened. It's a shame, but as you can see, it is an easy mission. So I was a bit unlucky. You know, now I do the final bin bit, which is the Titan suit that I have put in the uh, description. Go to the weapons factory. 
You have to break through his computers, basically. And then that's it for crew for now. I don't even think I'll do any more missions for crew. Well, there's a mission uh, revolving around crew. At like 88%, but it's not a mission for him. It does involve him. I'm not going to say any more, though. And what percentage am I on now? 80, I'm guessing. 79, I'll piss off. Yeah, crap, it was 79. Only got like 3% of it, yeah, get it out. Oh shit, gone too far. Anyway, how long? Half an hour, I'll go for another half an hour. change. Well, I mean, I did stop the vehicle in the end for them, but that's not really useful for them. Anyway, let's go. Vroom, vroom in my brand new Lambo. Black Lamborghini, black Lamborghini. Bitch, I know you see me in my Lamborghini. Here we go. I can't believe it. We were so close. The Baron stole the Precursor Stone right out from under us. And after all of our planning and hard work, Torn has betrayed the cause. Torn meant well. He was protecting one of our own. We must get that stone back. I'm working on it. Yeah, we're working on it. I've underestimated this Baron. And now it appears he has taken the boy as well. Think. What will the Baron's next move be? Well, if I had the Precursor Stone with all that power, I'd use it to build a giant palace. A palace with the biggest harem of women the world has ever known. And there'd be a swimming pool. Of course, uh, uh, Daxter's obsessed with a harem. Slightly mindy. Yeah, yeah, a massive pool of gooey chocolate. Then the girls and I would jump in together. What? I want you to go out to the drill platform again. If you can destroy the main control tower there, it should temporarily stop the Baron's use of Eco to harm us. So this is the last Titan, no, the second to last Titan suit mission. Because, well, after the, well, after this mission, once the Class A race is done in the palace, most of the remaining missions are in areas you just haven't been to yet. Um, they're like exclusive, just one time areas. Um, but anyway. Okay. Gonna break the controls. Most of them are in the final room anyway. This is more of a platforming type pattern suit section. Um just the way it is. Earth is that for? Yeah. Oh yeah. Back up and get out of the you have to keep on switching from suit to jack. What do I do? I need, to, I need to hit that up there. 
the aim. There we go. That's what we wanted. Can I make this though? Oh, I can. I was underestimating it a bit there. Yeah, to be fair, of course, mid-game I got a lot of metalhead gems and then it slowed down a bit. Um, it just slows down towards the end, um, but it picks up why it was in about 10%. Um, well, for multiple reasons, as you'll find out. Because all it takes is one slip-up. And it's all over. One missed time jump. Back to the beginning of the level again. Ouch. Don't step too far across. Yeah, 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 I got away with that one. There right, we go. I'll get back in. I've opened up the easy path. I don't remember if this goes down or if it just stays up. As long as the switch is in place, of course. I don't want to hang around because I don't want to make a mistake when it comes to the jumping anyway. I'm just going to wait, play it safe. Don't think it's too long until the computer area now. Ugh, it's barely timed for you to do it. No! Oh shit! I didn't think it was one of those because it because the pure white ones are the ones that drop. I didn't know if that was going to drop or not. I should have just gone. You have to take damage there. Right, well, I mean, you can wait it, but I'll just take a bit of damage and make sure I definitely do it. But yeah, of course, Jack 2. No checkpoints. You know how it is. It's always the ones with the longest checkpoints, or like the longest missions that I always fail as well. Because they waste the most amount of bloody time. When you punch, if the laser is active, um, as you push back after the punch, the laser actually does hit you. Um, well anyway, there we go. It's awkward to actually turn it, but there we go. timed at all shit jump mm, bit of damage not too bad though that's fine yeah, I don't have to go all the way over there that's a waste of time of course, the more I die, the less ammo I end up having, so I have to be careful for ammo's sake. Alright. Back to this lasery section. It's going to be barely timed. Oh shit. Oh Jesus, that dealt a lot of damage. I'm going to have to tank all this damage. Oh, it wasn't actually too bad. Aye, aye. Right, made it. 
this is the bit. Which, of course, I literally, you know, just literally mere seconds away from the room before I died, you know. Of course, gonna happen, innit? Gems. Right now we go. Emergency override. Uh, aim, please. Thank you. I think once you do this, if your memory serves, you get a time limit where you have to like escape very, very quickly. And if you fail it, do you get a checkpoint? <laughs> do you? Act? This is Jack too. They don't know what checkpoints are. They think checkpoints mean start of level. And there we go, this is where the fun begins. Alright, um So now I need to do all of that in a minute and thirty four on my Todd. So hurry up please. It takes about five seconds, maybe even close to ten. Five, six, seven. Oh, it's close to eight. It's close to ten. Nine, ten. Oh fuck! I have to take the damage, and I really. I like this though, you have to, you know, go through the level again. You go through it in a different way this time around. Jump. Whoosh. Ah. Nearly pulled back on that one way too hard. And they nearly there. Come on, hurry up. See, this is why you can't return to the drill platform, because of that happens. And that's four missions done in just over 40 minutes, I think. So, one every ten, roughly. There we go. Taboo. I'm sure it will, Cora. I'm sure it will. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, shit. The Class A race. Or the Class 1 race, whatever you want to call it. A1. The Fletcher Boat. A for Awesome. A for Adam. Both the same thing. Both mean the same thing. Only joking. Of course, <coughs> Jack and Kira are still on bad terms, you know, because Kira's like Errol. Best, best racer ever. And then, and then Jack, of course, you know, tried to convince her that. Error was bad boy, but then she's like, you're one to talk. I mean, you can see where she's coming from, because obviously Ashlyn is the Baron's daughter, but it's pretty clear uh, that it's easy to raise the question, is she really black bad? I mean, Errol, definitely bad. Baron, of course, is, well, he's the, he's the main villain. 
cough, cough. Can't forget the metal head lever though. Um, but of course Ashlyn hasn't really shown the same um, fortitude as Baron and Errol. Because of course she doesn't agree with it, so Ashlyn isn't really evil. But anyway, the wonderful palace mission will be starting off tomorrow's episode then, clearly. I, mean, I do want to wrap it up in the next two parts, but I might not be able to. Might take me three minutes, we'll see. I'll show you guys what I've been working on if you promise not to laugh. Ooh, I love surprises! And I love to laugh! Show me, show me. I've been building a replica of our crashed rift riding machine from old artifacts. That's my girl! But I'm still missing two pieces. Figures. Vince says I need an artifact called the Time Map and an old energy gem history books call the Heart of Mar. And I've looked in every book on precursor history I can find. Of course, um, Crew has got that. You did all this? I mean, that's useful. Oh, will you two stop moping around and make up already? I've seen the Heart of Mar. Crew has it. We'll get those two artifacts, Kira. Attention all drivers. The Class 1 Championship race is about to begin. Well, here goes. The race of my life. Jack, I just wanted you to know, well, you're the best racer I've ever seen. Hey! What about me? I helped get us here. Do you want to drive? Against that crazy loon arrow? No way! the handlebars, brother. And you'd better keep us alive or I will never speak to you again. Obviously. Leave it in the dust, Jack. So, of course, it, it's not really explained whether Kira, of course, just did it to kind of, you know, stop Errol from digging. I guess softening herself up from just, you know, flirting with him. I guess kept, kept uh, him off her back because obviously she was building the Rift Rider. Because, of course... She's planning on taking everybody back to the Curse of Legacy timeline. But anyway, I believe you get a cutscene. Or do you not get a cutscene? No, you don't. Oh, you do. thought you did. The Baron watches this one, though. Here we go. I want more than just to win, Eco Freak. I want you! Greetings, racers! Today, your nerve and skill will be tested for our amusement. If any of you should by some small chance beat our grand champion, Harold, then you will be awarded a month's supply of Eco! And a short tour of my palace to see how the other half live. Good luck, and die drinking! Ready? Get set! Here we go. Well, I do like the racing, I just find it always so awkward and annoying. And you see that little tunnel there? Well, that is the shortcut you can make for, well, four of the laps. Which you can't do it first lap. Um, I think there's at least two shortcuts. There might be three shortcuts altogether in the race. Um, that's just the way it is. Some things never change. off. So if you take this way you have to be careful. You have to cut the corner nicely, you prick. Ah oh, That's what I hate about this race. It's not easy to uh, do what you want to do. Anyway, I'm not gonna speed boost if I don't have to. Um because that is a nasty hold and you may think holy shit as soon as I pull away Errol starts pulling away as well just because he has to be, always, always has to be with you. Of course, because it's Arrow as well, he gets his own red marker. Piss off, that's, oh my god! I'm going to the beginning of lap, lap 2 and 3 now, I've been cock blocked for making it across there. Piss off, I keep getting bonked into when I'm about to make a turn. It's always when I'm about to make a turn, I get disrupted. Fucking wankers. I slowed down. I weren't going as fast as I should have been. That's why I didn't make it. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck you. Twat. Well, that was a weird turn. I'm smoking now, fuck it. 
That's of course a speed boost. They're not gonna get cut blocked, of course not, because I've got a fucking smoking vehicle this time. Of course, when I've got a shit smoking vehicle, that's when I don't get bonked into. What a coincidence, what a surprise, eh? Piss off. So piss off. Oh, you're a twat. Honestly, you're a twat. Do you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna in intentionally crash. Oh, God. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted to just intentionally crash, because as long as your vehicle starts smoking, that's it. There goes Errol. It's gonna take his time. This turn is so time. It reminds me of Bowser's Castle in Mario Kart and I forgot the map from Crash Team Racing. What's the map? I don't remember where I'm gonna take that shortcut this time. Yeah. Don't matter. Oh hello. Of course you take the shortcut this time, don't you, Errol? You prick. That's it, down you go, mate. Have to be careful with the corners coming up next turn. Such a tight tuck corner. Good recovery. I mean that shortcut is, you know, it's a puny shortcut. It's not really that helpful, but you know. Off Errol. What happens at the end of this race before the cutscene? I didn't want to get an awkward bonk that would have caused my vehicle to start bloody smoking, but it was fine. I mean, I've got. I'm puffing a bit of white smoke, but nothing that affects speed at this point. Of course, it doesn't save many seconds that, but it is worth it. But of course, in the meantime, it does. Um, it does put me in danger of, of course, going into orange smoke. It's not. It's also not ideal to speed boost down here either. Okay, final lap. Flat. Fucked me over last lap, I swear down. I don't, I can never think of good speed boost spots, like, like where to use the boosts. I think this is a good spot, I, I always do, but... And then now I've pulled away completely. Is Errol even, he's, oh my god, he's like, he's like fifth place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, class B is the worst. Class A isn't that bad. Thank you very much. This cutscene's quite funny. What happens to Errol? A brave man of the people. And who is this worthy opponent? In my way, good men are at the bottom or broken. So which is it going to be? Surprise. What? Just a little closer. We need to talk. Fool! Don't you get it? It's over, Jack. All the heroes died long ago. Only survival remains. By whatever means, this city is mine. These lives are mine. This war is mine. And in war, people die. Kill me. Look out! I win, Jack. Yeet, bang. And Errol. That's gone. Into a massive eco explosion. So now I have to escape. And bang. Do you know what? Give me a vehicle, prick. Or maybe don't. Don't. Anyway. So palace security pass acquired. Thank you. Put the message to go so I can get in. I should just go into the palace and then save in there. Um so you know. Oh, you know. oh, beautiful turn. You know, you should know where the palace is, it's just smack down in the middle of the map. 
but I'm getting shot up that many times that the vehicle's going schizo. You can't get me easily from the low ground, bitches. That's it, you can try. You're always open to try, my friends. That's it, good one. Don't get stuck. Oh, brilliant, fantastic. I'm still going to make it there for now. In Aridus. Now we get into uh, the big missions. So once we go to the palace, there isn't too much left. Well, it takes about 84 percent ish, I think. Uh, I should be on 82 percent now, I think. Because that only means 6 percent today, but that's fine. Let me have a look. At 83 percent, so that leaves 17 percent to do. next two days but I do want to try and wrap it up I don't want to do it in 13 parts because I'll end up getting to the final dungeon and that's all I'll be doing in part 13 I don't really want to do it like that so anyway I was going to shoot them a scatter gun but I might it's not like doing it for shits and giggles, you know how it is. There we go. Right then, so... Thank you for watching this episode of my playthrough of Jack 2. And in the next episode, I will be going through the palace um, in order to... You know, uncover a few things. You know, explore the palace. And there we're going to meet Ashlyn. Which is where she's going to make a decision which will affect um, her character. Um, which way will she swing? Will she swing towards Jack's side and join the good guys? Or will she continue being a fool and side with her father? You'll have to find out tomorrow. So I said thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.